Okay, so uh, first of all, I have to apologise for the microphone. It's uh, it's a Bluetooth one, and uh, it's not the best microphone. So uh, I'll uh, let me see if we can get this started, and uh, I'll show you what you need to do. Now, uh, if you bring up the AMD Vision Engine Control Center, um, and click on Performance and AMD Override, and uh, just make sure uh, that box is enabled. Um, and click apply. Uh, that's all you need to do. Um, this is my overclock, just what I've managed to overclock it at, uh, but don't put that in on this bit. Just leave that. Don't do any of that. Just click enable, click apply, and then minimize it. Now, you should have installed as well um, GPU tweak and monitor. These uh, came with the graphics card. Um, little programs to help you um, overclock. Um, so you want to just bring these up. Um, you can overclock if you just want to use the AMD Vision. You can use this if you want to overclock, but um, it's safer to use this program first that comes with a graphics card. Uh, and I'll tell you why in a minute. If I just go to settings, um, you want to turn this off. Un make sure this is untweaked before you start overclock him. Uh, the reason why is because when you do an overclock if it's not stable um, and that box is ticked every time you start your computer the overclock will be there. So if you overclock now and your PC crashes you have to push the, turn the computer on and off and when you turn it on it's got these settings straight away when it boots up and it'll just crash again and then you'll have to go into safe mode and disable this program from running up so to make it nice and easy just make sure that's un un untick that box once you've done that click on tuning now um, this um, gra graphics card um, there's two versions out one runs at 800 and one runs, runs at 820 uh, megahertz I think it is mine. Mine was the overclocked one at 810 um, and this is what I've managed to get it up to stable so just set yours all the way up to, the, to that and the voltage as well I've upped the voltage a little bit and the memory clock now before you click apply any, any of this um, I recommend you click on your fan speed and copy this. You drag them all up there. So pause this video and do that. Um, this basically, um, when your temperatures go up, your fan speed goes up. Now, the default ones, it'll let your graphics card temperature get up to around about 60, 60 Celsius, which is way too hot before it'll start to kick in. Um, these settings that I've done here. Um, around about 40 the fans will, will kick up a little bit then when it gets to 50 they'll be like um, I think it's 60% um, fan speed and then if it goes over 52 somewhere like that it'll set the fans up a, a bit higher so it, this is, these are the best settings that I've come up with and this will stop your uh, graphics card um, GPU getting any hotter than around about uh, 54 there we go that's my maximum temperature when I was gaming that's temperature now uh, so once you've done all these copied that cl uh, click apply um, I can figure out how to go back yep um, so once you've done that and you've done all this click apply um, and then save it to a profile um, once you've done that um, that is it as soon as you've clicked apply you've got your overclock and to double check you have got the overclock uh, just simply click on there and let's bring this over here a bit and we can see somewhere around here it's been a while since I was on it there we go 855 uh, the default, there we go, the default clock was 810 megahertz uh, two versions of this card. The first version is just 800, and then this one is the factory overclock to 810. So, um, so yeah, that's what I've managed to overclock it to.
there and that was what it was originally and same along there uh, these are all stable but uh, what I suggest you do is once you've done this then you've checked that the overclock has worked um, you want to download a program called um, I can't remember what it is um, just bear with me a minute There we go. So you want to download if you haven't already got it. Um, MSI. Okay. So uh, if you haven't already got this program, um, just download it. It's a free program. Um, this is just to stress your graphics card now to check that the other clocks are stable. Um, before I click start. Um, I'll just put that over there. So lift this up so we can keep it on the temperatures. That's what the temperature is now. Um, fan speed there. So I'm just going to click start. And before I click start, I'm going to put the microphone near my PC so you can hear the fan going up. Um, if you can hear any fan noise now, um, that's not actually the computer. I'll just go a bit closer so we can we can hear. Okay, so I'm about um, I'm about a foot away from my PC now. Um, the case is the case is not on my PC in the minute, so the fan noise is going to be amplified. So we'll just click start now. Okay, so I'm just going to minimise this so we can keep an eye on the temperatures. Now keep an eye on this area here, the temperatures and you'll know uh, when the fan, fan starts to spin up ok so I can only just air the fans now to the graphic card Uh, and in a minute, as the temperature is still rising, it'll, it, the fans will start to go um, even faster. There we go. And now if the temperatures rise any faster than 54, the fans will then go up to the next speed, which is, the, which is 100%. Um, so you want to try and keep temperatures within around about 50 Celsius. Um, I say you, graphics card can go a lot, a lot hotter, but if you want reliability uh, and you want your gra graphics card to last a good couple of years, then I recommend you keep it within around about 50. I mean, 55 is fine. And as you can see, it won't move from 55 now. So I'll just cancel the test. Now the temperatures are going down now. And there you go, the fans have gone off now. I can't hear the fans. So uh, that's about it. That will now drop round to room temperature, which is 32. Um, so that, that's all you really need to do. Um, it's a good stable overclock. You might be able to get more out of it. It's just I've got to that and decided. Do you know what? Um, for the price of the graphics card, I don't. I don't want to expect any more than that. Um, by all means, you can try it. Once you've done that and you've tested it, start up one of your, your games. Um, play on that, you know. See if you see if it's stable. Um, 
and once it's all stable for you um, you can go back into your settings and click put a tick in there so every time your computer starts up um, this overclock um, gets put on is activated um, now one thing to note with this program as well is um, not to click the cross off um, in order to get this overclock this program needs to start and, and be running in the background all the time which is um, not a problem because um, it's actually it's actually good because if you're playing a game and you hear your fans going really loud you can exit your game and look at what temperatures you have because this logs all the temperatures that your computer's, computer's been at since it's been on um, and you just minimise them and every time you start your computer up they'll be there at the bottom there um, and that is is about it really so uh, if you've managed to overclock this um, a bit more uh, you've managed to get a bit more out um, let me know and uh, I'll give them a go on mine um, just because this overclock works on my graphics card doesn't necessarily mean it'll work on yours it's something to do with every every chip slightly different so you could have two of the same graphics card and one might be able to overclock slightly better than the other one so uh, if this one doesn't work for you um, just hit this down a bit um, you can use this program if you want um, to overclock but like I say the other program is safer once you've got your over the, once you know your, your overclock is um, is fine then you, you could use this if you wanted to um, but I, I don't use this I mean I've just get that enabled and that is it um, so there you go that's just about everything you need to know so yeah um, if you've managed to overclock yours a bit more let me know um, I've played um, Daisy on this um, my um, my resolutions is only uh, 720 uh, reasons being is I've got a 32 inch monitor on this PC that's uh, a TV so um, on the TV can only go up to 720 um, which is fine for me because uh, 720 I can't tell the difference between 720 and full HD so so there we go